Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome back at the Van Cave. Yay! What a crazy week. I was down in Quartzsite, filmed a couple days, had the van, actually spent the night in the van. That was the very first night. It was comfy, cozy. That bed worked out well. Fridge kept up, the batteries kept up, I had lights, used a laptop down there. So very, very happy with uh, the results. Now I'm going through the pain of, I'm starting to stock it. Like here's some plastic dishes, got to figure out where I'm going to put clothes, food, that kind of thing. We'll get into that in another video, a little more detailed. But like down here, I got that tub, all the solar, you know, that Renergy Eclipse system is just a powerhouse. I need to download the app for the Bluetooth. That's something else we got to get into, but it worked extremely well. Look at that. I left a whole saw down there. <laughs> I just got to go through everything. But once again, I'm getting into the where I want to put stuff for now because uh, this week with all this virus stuff going on I'm still gonna travel we're still gonna run around and film be kind of localized I thought for now I'll maybe head over around the Colorado River or whatever but we're gonna do that I'm hooked to shore power right now maintains the batteries perfectly the charger in here because I'm inside the shop here so also, I'm hooking up, I'm testing. This is the TV I had in the cargo trailer, mounted on the wall. I'm setting it up so it'll run off the computers like a monitor, be a second monitor. For now, I'm not sure if I want to wall mount it or just leave it loose. We'll see. For now, it'll be loose. But before I get too dedicated for a wall, mar wall mount, We'll see what happens. Today's goal though is, I put these on the motorhome. Air tabs, yay. Driving this high profile van through wind, they stick on just like that. Um, pushes that, this van all over the road. You get, you know how you, when a truck goes by and you get the wash for, air wash where it uh, really shoves you around, especially if you're pulling a trailer, you're in a motorhome. I've had these on my motorhome for years and they work great. They really reduce the amount of drag the vehicle creates and handling and winds. And this thing definitely needs it. They claim fuel mileage, I don't know. I never really noticed a huge difference in the motorhome. That doesn't matter, just the handling of these. They're white, uh, they come in black. I'll put a link in the description where you can get them. A lot of truckers use them, but they work well. So that's the goal. They're very easy, it's just peel and stick. They can come off too. You can take them off this easy, put them on. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's get some air tabs in this thing. Alrighty, up on the roof we go. These things are super simple. I just take a damp cloth, make sure it's good and clean. Dry it off, let that air dry for a couple minutes. Then they just kind of peel and stick. Kind of lay them out, you know, with these bumps here, but they claim it's supposed to be an inch or two apart, but can't always have that. Two there, two there, two there, one there. Basically, the wind hits and it jets up. Yay! I'm gonna put them across the front up there too, then down the sides. Anyway, these are air tabs. They got some official name like vortex generators. They're used on aircraft too. All right, let's get busy.
That's it. Just stick them on there. Voila, there they are. What'd I get? Five. Got 10 of them up here, that's pretty good. All right, let's go do the front. All righty, there we go. They're on there, yay. Boy, this will make a big difference in how this thing handles. Also, they recommend two, I put two it's wherever you get resistance on your vehicle. I put two down here in front of the fender well. They tell you to do that. So, And with the curve, I left one off there intentionally because of the curve. It didn't want to sit real flat. So that should help a lot. Okay, to the other side. All righty, got them. They're up on top, front and back. Over here on the side. They work good. Once again, those are air tabs. Vortex generators, whatever they call them. Anyway, they work. They work extremely well on high profile type rigs. On my motor home, I've had them four years and I would never take them off. So anxious to see how this does in the wind. All right. All righty, I added uh, some decals. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Live View device that I used last year for live streaming. You're gonna have some of that on the, coming up soon. Let me open this back up here. Added more decals down there. Get the Bluetooth app. Uh, also, I'll show you. Let me get up through here. I got the bed all tore up. I got these from uh, Walmart. And my buddy Kurt helped me sew them up. They're blackout curtains. And I'm going to hang those up here too. So we'll get those up. Why don't we do that real quick? Hey, we got light. Yay. We got more light. Hey. <laughs> Love it. Also, this 12 volt switch, that relay worked extremely well. I was down on quartzite. It kicked on and off like it was supposed to. See how this shell's cool? I can just store the... These are the window coverings for up here. Those go good. All right, well, let me get these uh, curtain blackout curtains up. I'll show you what those look like. I'll be back. Okay, I just use clamps. I got snaps I'm going to put in here. But that's how they're going to hang can open up, peek out with the snaps. We'll go clear across. I gotta get them fitted a little bit. Kurt put on some Velcro there so they connect. Anyway, that's uh, what, how they're gonna be. So when I'm parked, I can just snap them on, have some privacy. I can put these up in the windshields for uh, insulation and ventilation. And then I have a curtain that'll drape down off this window here too. So odds and ends, getting it together. Pretty happy with it. 
But yeah, it was very comfortable staying a night in this. So um, I have no problems there. I got the propane tank for the stove now. I gotta get that installed. So lots of odds and ends this week. That'll be next video. I'll show progress on that. But uh, I want to get out and film. I, I can get way out where no one's around. I'll be out there by myself, but you guys might as well see it too. We'll go down to Colorado, fly around in a drone or something. Be the only ones out there. But if you're stuck at home, watch RV or TV. All right, let's see here. I like it. I like the color, black. Plus these are insulated. You get them at Walmart. They're only like nine bucks. <laughs> and uh, they, they were hemmed cut and hemmed so anyway next time you see them they'll have snaps in them they'll be up there all right well i'm gonna call this a video we got the air tabs on some of the odds and ends going from there all right stay safe everyone all right talk soon